Hi everyone. Today I'm going to discuss how to convert the Ziltec standard extruder assembly to a Bowden setup using the Ziltec clone of the E3D V6 hot end. I've already taken the stepper off of the extruder assembly and taken the extruder assembly off to walk you through step by step how you're going to do this. The first step is going to be to build part of the extruder back onto the NEMA stepper motor. First you're going to take the lower part of your extruder assembly and you are going to screw it onto your stepper motor using a Phillips head screwdriver and the provided hardware that came with your kit. Next, take the drive gear included with your kit and slide it onto the shaft of your stepper motor and tighten with the Allen key. Make sure to tighten both of the set screws to ensure that your drive gear is snug onto your motor. The next step is going to be to take the top part of the extruder and you're going to screw that in to the lower part and the motor using a Phillips head screwdriver and the hardware provided. Now I only screw mine in just a little bit to keep it nice and loose because next we need to install the spring. The easiest way I have found to install the spring is to unscrew the bolt on the top of the extruder and then to put the spring into the bottom. And now it's in place and you can screw that back in to tighten it up one more time. And now you can see we've got most of our extruder assembled nicely. Now, typically, the standard hot end is already attached, but we are going to use an upgraded E3D clone made by Ziltec, and we're going to make it a Bowden setup, which will allow you to have less weight on your carriage as you're printing, and also can allow you some flexibility for placement on your own printer. The first thing you're going to want to do now is take the E3D hot end, and you're going to add the Bowden adapter included with your kit. Screw that right in. And it really just has to be hand tight. You don't need to put a wrench on it. And now we can put this off to the side until a little later. Then you're going to take the Bowden adapter and you're going to screw it in to your extruder assembly. And again, hand tight is fine. The next step is to get the PFTE tubing, which also comes with the kit. And you're going to push in on your Bowden assembly, and that will allow you to push the PFTE tubing in and you can see it's nice and snug it's not going to come out anywhere and it's being fed now so when your when your extruder puts the filament through it's going to now feed instead of going directly into the hot end into your PFTE tubing the other end of your PFTE tube is going to go into your hot end and again push down on the tab and you push your PFTE tubing all the way flush and you can see now we have our Bowden setup. So looking at this all is one. We have the ability to put our motor anywhere we want, feed the filament through 
your PFTE tubing. Your PFTE tubing should be trimmed to fit your printer, and then it will come out of your new hot end. You'll still need to rewire your hot end, make sure that your thermistor and your heater assembly are attached, uh, but you do be doing that either way. And that's how you take the standard Ziltec extruder assembly and hot end, and you convert it to a Bowden setup with the V6 hot end. Thank you.